My name is Angela. My name is Nicole. And welcome to the Ominous Stitch Podcast. Hey, Stitchers! We... (laughs) Nicole, Nicole forgot how to talk. She's here too, I promise. Hi. We're going to be demonstrating the basket weave. We're back, everybody. We're back, everybody. Because I'm using a chunky yarn, chunky. I'm doing a chunky hook. Chunky. We're doing a 6.5, y'all. We're going I like a hook. big. <laughs> I like them <laughs> chunky. All right, so let's cast on. So for the basket <laughs> weave, <laughs> I took we over. are in such a weird <laughs> mood, guys. Oh my gosh, this has been a super fun day. Okay, so basket weave is going to be multiples multiples of eight. So we have one, two, three, four, five. I was laughing while you were talking. What size hook? K? Seven, eight. Yes. Wow, that's a big one. It's a big hook. Okay. 6.5 millimeter K hook. JK. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so we've done eight. We're going to do eight more. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So multiples of eight plus seven. Ooh. That way we're going to start and finish with the same side of the basket weave. So it doesn't look uneven, okay. right? So now we're going to do seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Seven. So to set this up, here's my beautiful chain. Of oh, so pretty. 16 plus seven. What is that? 23. 23. <laughs> okay, my chain of 23. Hashtag because, because math. math. All right. And then we're going to go into the third chain from the hook. One, two, three. And we are going to double crochet all the way back. Woo-hoo. And so while I double crochet all the way back, let's yep. talk about what the episode was that we did with the basket weave. It was our first road trip, right? Is it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is back a few episodes. Man, we're we've late been driving on forever. Some of these yes. Oh man, the road trip series. I'm having so much fun. Uh oh, so much fun. Sounds like oh, our little shadow. Oh, it's a squirrel. It's a squirrel. <laughs> you guys can hear my dog in the background. Just squirrel, squirrel. squirrel. All right, so we're gonna double crochet all the way back, <laughs> or if you want to be British. Trouble crochet. Trouble. So I learned this by watching Bella Coco videos. That was who I used to watch when I first learned to crochet, Bella Aww. Coco. And yeah, she does a whole series of left-handed videos. So that was really fun. I got to actually learn how to do it. But now I can watch righties and I know how to flip it in my brain. And You're so good at that. I can't. I have to watch Angela down. I'm like, I can't. <laughs> like, I can't tell what's do going it? on. <laughs> No, you can do it. My left-handed. You're so smart. Left-handed right brain. (laughs) So we are in not really the middle. So you're just doing a double crochet. Oh, yeah. Double crocheting all the way back. So we're we're getting the basket weave set up. But like I was saying, we are road tripping across the USA. We started in Maine. That's right. Right? And so that's where we started with the basket weave. We're going, we're zigzagging across the United States. Across the United States. And the tippy-toppy east. Yes, in the east and all the the tinier little states. I was like, we are going nowhere fast, but there's so much. You don't think about it until you actually like go find every state. (laughs) I'm like, oh my gosh. (laughs) There's 50 of them. Well, yeah. (laughs) But they're just so crammed out in the east coast. It's really crazy. Oh my gosh, yeah. Well, yeah, compared to Here. us West Coasters, oh, you know, man. California. California is nice and big. And I'm from Texas originally. A so, huge you know, state. Yeah. Takes when I used to drive home from college, it would take a day to get to Texas and then a day to drive through Texas. Oh, my gosh. Isn't that crazy? That is crazy. Texas is the middle of my drive back to Houston, which is where I'm from. Hey, little nugget of information. <laughs> I'm almost back to the end here. And then we're going to start our first official row of basket weave here. I just got a few more to go. All right. So where did we stop on our first road trip? To oh, remember? man, my brain is so <laughs> foggy. Hold on. You have up. notes. You know, I have notes, went. but I, they're not open. But no, we made our way across Maine. We definitely went through um, Massachusetts, 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 New York. New and um, gosh, where did we end? Was it? It had to be on the East Coast, obviously. Yes. I'm going to find it, though. 
while she's finishing up her double row. Uh, went to New Hampshire, Vermont with Emily's Bridge. Remember Emily's yes. Bridge? Massachusetts, Rhode Island. We went to the tiny, tiny state, Connecticut, New York. I Rhode think- Island was crazy. There were zombies, right? Yes. Yes. And, and man, man monkey or something. Remember? Man, man ape or something. Yes, the man ape. Oh, we ended in New Jersey. New Remember Jersey. the Shades of Death Road? Shades of Death Road. Yes. That was so cool. So good. Okay, this is my last. Ugh, get it. This is my last double crochet to form row one. This is my setup row. So, yay. yay. Look at this. I'm not watching to make sure I'm staying in frame. So I'm sorry if I'm not. I think I am. <laughs> you better be. <laughs> <laughs> I think I am. So once we've done our first row, we're going to chain two. And that is always going to count as a double, double. crochet. Okay. We will always crochet into that chain two. Okay. So every year we start with a chain two and we're going to end with a half double crochet, which will make sense because we're doing front posts and back, back posts. Post. That's right. We're right? alternating. So we're doing double crochets, but we are front posting and back posting. So we're going to whoop turn. Oh. <laughs> Do you like the sound effects? <laughs> I love it. Let me straighten out my yarn here. Okay. So we're going to skip this very first double crochet. It's going to serve as like a border. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then to this one, we are going to front post. Front post. Which means we go behind, pull baby up, pull baby out of the corner. Do you guys remember that? I do. For our very first Yay. episode. And we're going to double crochet. So we're going to double crochet into the first four, four. Okay. of these. So, so every every four. And they're all next two. to each other. Front a three. Post. And you do you want to always cool. use kind of a chunkier yarn when you're doing this basket weave or can no, you use No, I'm just into chunky yarn. You can use whatever kind of yarn you want to make a basket weave, but I just love chunky yarn. I right love now. that you and I are so opposite right now. I'm using like super you thin amigurumi. You're doing the big chunky. Okay, so we have four front posts, front. double crochets. Okay. Woohoo, look at that. Pretty. Now we're going to do four back, back posts, All which right. means we're going to push baby behind. And the now, ba- sometimes the it might be easier to kind of turn your work this way. So you're kind of looking at it on top. Uh-huh. That helps a lot of people that because it can me. get kind of, you can get your hook kind of caught when you're going behind it, but that's going to push baby to the back. I love it. No, don't put baby in the back. So we're going to do four Too bad baby. of babies going to the back. And you have to cut out. It's fun. Do you feel your tension? I was reading about this. This is something that's fascinating to me now. Um, your tension when you're going in those back, do you feel like you're doing too tight or does it feel like you're doing it enough? Like, do you um, want tight tension when you're doing in the back? I try to keep my tension the same. Yeah. No matter what. Okay. But like, I don't know. I don't know. That's okay. a good question. Well, so watch we your did, fingers and feel it. <laughs> we did. I think it feels the same. Oh, okay. So we've done four to the back. One, two, three, four to the back. So we have four to the front there, four to the back. Now, guess what? What? We're going back to the front. Hey. Okay. Alternating. So alternating every four. So we're going to do four Just to the front, like four to the back. Look. Yeah. It makes it have a cool basket look. Four to the front. Four and you to said the you back. learned this, your, one of your first stitches, right? Yeah. Because I thought it looked cool. It does look cool. And now I'm making a pillow out of it, which I do when I go to my son's baseball practices. <laughs> something to there. do. Yeah. Do you ever feel like you're scared to like drop your yarn or something though when oh, you're outside? Yeah, I totally do dropped you? it <laughs> so many times. But luckily in the stands, there's like concrete underneath. Me, oh, so good. It's okay. It's, <laughs> it's not like that not messy. Not get lost in the stands. Yeah, it's not that messy. Good. And then my girls are like, oh, get it. And they jump down. And oh, get that's it. sweet. Gives them something to do. So yeah. there's four in the front. Now we're going to do four to the back. The back. To the front, to, to the, the front, front, to, to the, the back. back. Oh, I dropped my yarn. <laughs> I got too excited. <laughs> I got too excited. Uh, that Tootsie Roll, like... man. That was the, my middle school dance. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That was so long ago. Oh, goodness. How many have you done so far? I don't know. Uh, two, two. Two to the back because I dropped my yarn. So I have two more to the back. And I love watching now when I watch how-to videos, how they hold their crochet hook. Like, I think you and I do very similar. It's like, it's like writing it with a pencil, right? With a pencil. Yeah. yeah. Some people like stab it. Like they use, like, looks like they're doing this. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> stab it, stab it, stab, stab it. it. <laughs> we're not felting, we're crocheting. Right. But they do it so fast and it's, and so effortlessly. I don't get it. I don't get how people hold their crochet hooks sometimes. 
Well, you know, I don't know. You, whatever you're comfortable with. Right. And I do what you're doing with the finger, uh, holding it Hold up. Hold it with finger. my finger. Yeah. I push the yarn with my finger a lot. Are you in, are you in frame still? We just want to make sure. I am. I'm looking. Yay. I'm in frame. Good, 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 good. Everyone can see. I got Angela. it. <laughs> okay. So now I've come to my last stitch, which is actually my turning chain from the row below. Oh. Does count as a stitch, but instead of double crocheting, you're just doing a, we're doing a half, half double. So you yarn over, pull up a, ye- a loop. You have three loops on your hook. A pull up a yeet. <laughs> and then you're going to pull through all three. So that's a half double. Nice. Then we're going to chain, chain two. Okay. Before we turn, look at what we got going on here. Nice. Okay. Good job. So that's our setup for the basket. Now we're going to flip. Whoop. Flip the script. And then this is the only other row that you have to learn how to do. And mm. then you're going to just alternate between these two rows. Okay. Between row one and two does or three and four i guess right. really because the first one was all the double. first one was all double yeah. crochet so now we're on the back side okay right yeah so we're gonna do exactly what we did but kind of in reverse if that makes <laughs> sense. so it's always going to be two to the front two to the back okay two rows to the front two rows to the back we did one row one way so we're gonna i'm not making sense i sense. i understand you okay so this is a row to the back so we're going to stay with that because we're on the back side so whatever we do on the front side we're going to stay with that on the back side so Got we're going to do this is to the back okay right so yep. we're going to double loop double, double i don't know why i wanted to say it. i'm Manager. trying to like act like the swedish chef oh nice <laughs> okay so we're going to do we are not talking about our episode <laughs> at all. Instead, we are just all over the well, map Well, people are just watching your hands anyway. That's oh. what people do anyway. They wanna... Don't watch my hands. It makes me nervous. Okay. <laughs> what do I do I, hands? On a hands video. <laughs> don't watch my hands. Makes me nervous. Okay. So then we're doing four double crochets to the back here. This. Is... <laughs> what did I do on You're that one? You're doing great. Let me try that one again. You got this. Where are you? you? got this. Okay. And then we pull through. Double crochet. Okay, good. good. Now we're going to do four front post doubles. All right. Four. So we have one, a two. What made you choose this one again for our road trips? Just because we liked it, right? Yeah, just because I liked it. Yeah. I, you know, I like it's it hard to come up with road trip <laughs> themed. <laughs> you know what? A long time ago, we did talk about road trips, I think. And you mentioned this like crazy big elaborate um, project for like a, a rug. Do you remember that? For like a road rug for kids? Oh, yeah. Do you remember that? A graph again. Yes. A graph again. Graph again. Um, rug yes yes that would have been too much yeah no <laughs> i mean that would better. take the entire road trip if we did the graphic that's end. very true but graphic ends are cool yes they are but you just, when you have a simple stitch like this where you just know how to do it back and forth and it looks so and cool it looks awesome and i'm making a pillow in blue doing this are you really oh yeah. that's right the project I that we posted on social, that's the one that you're still working on? That was the start on? of the pillow, yes. It's such a pretty <laughs> color. I love it. It matches my rug. I love it. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. So what was the movie that we watched with this? Dead End. Dead End. <laughs> oh, the early 2000s oh, movie. Oh, my was probably goodness. We made in the 1990s because that's what I thought so. But it felt very 90s, so but it was early like 2000s, it. Yes. so it makes sense. Yeah. Where no characters have any kind of Oh, it's like growth. over the top. They're all just stereotypes. Yep. But it has Elise from the Conjuring Yay, Elise. series. We so. love Elise. Or not Conjuring, Insidious. No, Insidious. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. I know we get those always confused. I get she it. is such a fun actress. Like She's I've great. been noticing her in a lot of different movies that I've been watching. Oh yeah. She does all kinds of like really fun character things. Yeah. There's there's this bachelor party movie that Oh no. I, oh no. What are you watching? Really, I don't know. <laughs> it was really bad. It just kinda came on. Okay, uh-huh. so now I'm at the end here. I'm going to save by the end of the row <laughs> instead of save by the bell. Save Woo! by the end of the row. Good. So now I'm going into those two chains, that turning chain, and I'm going to do a half double crochet. So I yarned over, okay. pulled up a loop, pulled through all three. That makes it a half double. Do two. Two chains. Two chains. One, a two. Okay. okay. So now I've completed a front side and a back side. So I have two rows that mm-hmm. are going the same way. So this is the back side. Take a look. Woo-woo. Now we're going to flip. Mm-hmm. Bloop. 
look, it looks the same from this way. So now we've got to switch the basket, okay? So now, since these were two rows of front post, guess what I'm going to do? You're doing back. <gasps> I'm going to turn them into the back All post. Right. So then I'll do two rows of back posts. I think this will be the last row that I do. Okay. Because it should kind of demonstrate what's just, going You're just on. going back and forth I'm now. going back and forth. You do two rows, starting with front post and alternating between front post and back post. And then you do two rows of back post, alternating between back post and front post. I really want to Oops. make this one. And you can change the color, right? We talked about that. Yeah, you can change color anytime you want to. And it looks really cool if you stay with just one color, too. Yeah. So you can do, and then these become front post. Yay. I feel like for me, changing colors constantly would be such a headache. <laughs> you always want to change colors. I don't want to change. I do, and I don't. <laughs> ah, it's a like, bad conundrum. There's so many colors I want to use. I Let's do. I colors. really do. But this is a cool, I mean, just, I'm just thinking like if you're doing a basket weave and you're trying to do, you know, the front posts one color and the back posts another color. Oh, you know, no. how would you do that? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. You'd don't, have to change don't colors do that constantly, to yourself, right? Yeah. Don't do that to yourself. Blech. Okay. So now we're doing the back posts right here. Do, 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 do. <laughs> do you guys sing to yourself when All you crochet? All the time. Let us know in the comments below. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you love it when YouTubers like ask you silly questions? Please subscribe. <laughs> Please click. Please like and subscribe. Yeah. Smash that. We're, like you know, we're, yes, yeah, smash. <laughs> we're not objected to that either. You guys are welcome to do that. But, you know, we're here just to help. We she's want really, to help she's you. She's really here to help me, though. Obviously, at one point or another, I'm going to watch all of these so, <laughs> so I can make sure I know you what I'm doing. You don't watch our videos, Nicole? Is I'm that thinking, what you're saying? I'm like a roomie constantly. Yeah, I gotta. I haven't had time. I need more time, as we say. We yes, need like I need 30 more yep. hours. That's where I'm at. 30, 30 now? In a day or a week? 30 in a day. Oh, my gosh. That's a yes. lot. Okay. Well, I now have 20 more chickens. <laughs> <laughs> bagok. Bagok. I was just looking at them a second ago. I fed one like a tiny little pellet. Aww, <laughs> They're so cute. He's like, what is that? I'm Aww. like, it's a little pellet. Eat it. And it's like, okay. Oh, chickies. They're so cute. They are. <laughs> Chick-fil-A. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely took them through the Chick-fil-A drive through <laughs> They were in my lap of the Chick-fil-A. And the guy taking our order noticed. Oh, that was amazing. Like, Are those chickens? We're like, yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. We're not going to eat them. Uh, All right. Oh, so that's the start of the next row. Do you guys see how it's alternating? That's so cool. Do you see it? Do you see the pattern? I see it. I see it. So you say you're going to do this for, for a pillow. Can you do a blanket, even though it does this wobbly thing back and forth? Oh yeah. You can do a blanket and okay. it gets like really stretchy. My dog's on my yarn right now. Oh, you can pull it more. So it gets really, um, it, it stretchy. Okay. Yeah. See, woo. Oh, woo, I see. Woo. Okay. Cause it's double crochet yeah. and then, you know, there's like lots of holes. So it is pretty airy, yeah. even though it seems like very thick. It's pretty airy. That's so cool. So for this row, I know I said I was going to end it, but I'm just going to start this one a little bit so you can see. So I'm going to do the exact same stitches that I did that are facing the other way, which means that it's opposite. Opposite <laughs> makes day. Sense. So it makes sense. It you does. guys know what I'm doing here. Yeah. So Easy. because I'm on the back side, I'm doing double crochets. So I have, I'm, I'm, I'm always doing double crochets, <laughs> but I'm doing front post doubles. And then you'll do back. Because they were front posts or they were back posts on the other side. I'm just keeping them consistent with the right, side right. that I'm on. Does that make sense? It and does make that sense. That makes these are back post double crochets. Yay. Yay. You we did great. It. So. So. <laughs> <laughs> any other things we need to talk about? If you guys want to talk to us about anything, you can always email us at the ominous stitch at gmail.com. Uh, we really want to hear from you. We want to know your stories. What paranormal things have you experienced? Have you guys been to any of the haunted roads that we are exploring? Have we covered your state yet? Do you want us to do a specific road in your state? Please find us at theominousstitch at gmail.com and let us know. You can also comment on the video below since you're watching that. That's probably the easiest thing here. to do. And you're here. Or if you want to <laughs> stay in frame or if you want to go <laughs> to any of our social medias, you can do that as well. That's right. And you can find us on all of the things. All at the things. All of the things. 
Although what TikTok and Instagram are the most widely used. That's right. I'm terrible at everything else. <laughs> <laughs> well, Facebook, we've got like two followers and that's tough. And then Instagram and, and TikTok are just so easy to post our photos because that's all I'm doing, really. I'm not posting anything else except photos of our episodes yeah. so those are the best places my to go my dog is still on my yarn i Rosie, feel like she's gonna eat it don't eat the yarn <laughs> she's like mom i need attention too cute i was like petting her the entire podcast too. she was very well loved. Like, i need more attention more Aww. oh my goodness and my alpaca are about to pop this is like <laughs> you're gonna need all like eight hands to help <laughs> yes so many hands. My dog is seriously going to eat my yarn. Hopefully <laughs> she leaves me enough to finish this row. I have two stitches left. You're like, okay. I'm just going to do this row. Nope, I'm going to keep going. I know, going. I'm going to keep going. I can't okay. help myself. This is a really fun stitch. It looks stitch. like a fun stitch. And you can just like go on forever. So this is the forever. basket weave. Come join us on our road trip, won't you? Yes, please. Okay, so here we go. This is the back side. Beautiful. This is the front side. Very cool. It looks the same. Basket weave. Basket weave. Give it a try, guys. Yeah, thanks <laughs> oh, for wait. watching. That's not our channel. Don't <laughs> try, guys. <laughs> no. <laughs> thanks for listening. That's all. No. Thank you, guys. And we'll see you, Stitchers. <laughs> see you, Stitchers. Uh.